the Joe Rogan experience. You, you know. do it to yourself, or do you have to have somebody do it? I you? could do it to myself. I'm not a pussy. I need to go to some <laughs> doctor, stick a robot dick in my butt. Come on. <laughs> it, would, it would suck if you were like bungee jumping and your robot dick fell out, and then all of a sudden, you know, sadness in the middle of the day. That would be crazy. Look, we're already doing that with pills, right? People that are addicted to Xanax, and I know a few, that shit apparently makes you feel great. <laughs> Is that the upper or downer? That's the, uh, there's no, no problems in the world drug. Mm. It's, it's an wow. anxiety reliever. And the people that take it, man, they get hooked on that shit. Dom Herrera is very open about it. He takes that shit every day. He's so great. He's great. We had him last night on Kill Tony. He's the best at that. <laughs> yeah. No one's better at Kill Tony than Dom Herrera. Yeah. He's so quick, you know? Mm -hmm. And he knows, like, the most ridiculous shit to say. <laughs> yeah. But he, he likes them Xanax. I know a lot of... Stanhope likes Xanax, too. He's just joking around about if he got out of a plane and uh, kissed the floor when he, when he landed in America, it would be because he saw Xanax on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> they love those things. I'm scared of that shit. I, I, don't want, I don't want anything that makes me feel like there's no problems. I think the only reason why, you, why a lot of people don't do it is because they don't have a friend that has a bunch of Xanax that's constantly giving them Xanax or something. Because I never see pills or, in, you know, I'm not around that road at all. Like, mm. oh, I don't even know what a Xanax looks like, you know? Yeah. But I bet if you, we had a friend that always had Xanax on him, always like, man, you want Xanax? You know, I bet that's how you get into it. I think somebody but, just tells you you need to relax. <laughs> You know, you're like, I just, have, I just have so much anxiety. I mean, the world is filled with possibility. The world is filled with danger. The world's filled with good things and bad things. I mean, there's a lot of shit going on. If you don't have some anxiety, it must be because you're just choosing to not pay attention. Like anybody who lives in New York City. You live in New York City. Imagine all the shit that's going on around you all the time while you're just sitting there. You're supposed to be aware of it. Just supposed to hope everybody keeps together. Supposed to hope everybody's cool. You're, you're in your apartment. You're on the 13th floor of a 60-floor building. It's filled with people. There's another one right next to it. There's another one right next to that. They go all the way down the street. They're filled with people. People are fucking everywhere. And you're supposed to just be chilled out? That doesn't make no sense to me, man. I'm, I'm with you if you're nervous. <laughs> If you're anxious, you're driving in traffic every day and people are on their phones and they're not paying attention and everything you eat gives you cancer, you're not, you're not anxious? I don't understand you. You should be anxious. You know, this is the argument for not living the way we live. It's not the argument for taking a pill that kills that part of your brain that makes you anxious. Do you audibly sigh a lot? Uh, mostly for humor. Yeah. I don't audibly sigh like by myself like, oh. But I'll do it like that, like for a joke. Oh, I catch myself more audibly, audibly sighing more and more the order I get. Like mm. just like little things where I'll just like look at something. Like, oh, that like, kind of you shit. Know, like, yeah. like, but yeah. I didn't used to do that. Like, what? Oy. I'm going to go to oy. <laughs> oy vey is a good one. But it's like <laughs> the things I grew up with oy vey. Is it cultural appropriation? I'll have to ask my Jewish friends if I'm allowed to start saying oy vey. Yeah. Because, like, nobody ever got mad at anybody who wasn't Italian who would say, Maron, Maron, this girl. Nobody cares about those use, like, the use of, like, fungal. It's not used that often. Though. It is in Jersey. Go to the East Coast. Go to where those old school guineas landed on boats and fucked each other on the rocks and made a bunch of them, and they all stayed there. About ah, fungal. What's the, what's the Italian horn? Like if you're Italian, you oh, always have yeah, the. Oh yeah, I had one of those. <laughs> yeah, what is that? I had one of those. I didn't know that shows, was a thing. You know, shows you're a moron. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where it came from. We all had them in high school, though. That's it was like if you you had a gold chain with a horn, like wow, you're looking stylish. <laughs> did not know that thing existed. It's called the comicello. Oh, I've seen that sperm before. Uh, that's probably what it is. 